Hello and Namaskaram everyone. Together let's try to understand the boundaries of the anterior compartment of the leg. Leg is a region of the lower limb between the knee joint and the ankle joint. Anatomically, the leg is divided into three compartments. They are the anterior compartment, lateral compartment and posterior compartment of leg. Each of these compartments have muscles and neurovascular structures supplying them. Each of these three compartments have distinct boundaries separating them from one another. Let's take a cross section through the right leg and look at it. The distal part of the leg is removed and the section will look like this. Remember, you are standing at the foot of the cadaver. and looking at the section. So imagine yourself standing at the foot of the cadaver and looking at this section of the leg. So this will be the medial and here will be the lateral side. Remember this is a right leg. This is the tibia, the larger bone, the fibula which is the smaller of the two. Apart from that, you can see the different muscles which are present in the leg along with the neurovascular structures. A schematic diagram of the same section, it will look like this. Here, you can see the different compartments of the leg. The anterior compartment, the lateral compartment and the posterior compartment with the different muscles in different layers. Let's see what are the boundaries of anterior compartment of leg and what do these lines denote. Let us draw a section through the leg and how it will look like. We will begin by drawing a cross section through the tibia. It will look like this. And this is the fibula. So this is tibia and the fibula. Now let's draw the deep fascia of the leg. How it will look like. It will be like this. Encircling the fibula. Fibula will be buried inside the muscles. There will be no part of fibula which will be subcutaneous. Now, let us mark the three borders of the tibia. Here is the anterior border, medial border and the interosseous border of the tibia. Now, let us mark the borders of the fibula. Fibula is having an anterior border, an interosseous border and a posterior border. So comparing the two, both tibia and fibula have an anterior and an interosseous border. The tibia has a medial border whereas fibula has a posterior border. Let's see if we can mark the surfaces of the tibia. Now this surface is completely subcutaneous and this is the medial surface of the tibia. This medial surface extends between the subcutaneous anterior border to the medial border of the tibia. If we palpate our own leg, we can feel this subcutaneous anterior border extending from the tibial tuberosity down. This is the border that is subcutaneous and when it is hit on a table or when you play football and you hit this sharp border, it is really painful. That is the anterior border. So at this point, you can palpate and look for the anterior border of the tibia. Now if you palpate medially and laterally, you see that in your leg, if you palpate medially from the anterior border, 
when you palpate medially, the surface is a medial surface, which is again subcutaneous. Whereas the opposite side, it is a lateral surface, which cannot be palpated because it is covered by muscles. So here will be the lateral surface of the tibia. And what surface will it be? This is the posterior of the tibia. Similarly, let's look at the surfaces of the fibula. Between the anterior and the interosseous border is the medial surface. Between anterior and posterior border here. Here is the lateral surface and this between the posterior and the interosseous border is the posterior surface. In the posterior surface, you see a very prominent crust that is called as a medial crust. Now let's draw the intermuscular septa and the interosseous membrane which divide the leg into different compartments. So extending between the interosseous border of the fibula to the interosseous border of the tibia is the interosseous membrane. Interosseous membrane between the two bones. Extending from the anterior border of the fibula to the deep fascia is the anterior intermuscular septum. Extending from the posterior border to the deep fascia is the posterior intermuscular septum. This will be the anterior compartment. Here is a lateral compartment. This is the posterior compartment of the leg. Let's try to label the boundaries of the anterior compartment of the leg. This is the anterior boundary. Here is the medial boundary. Here is a posterior boundary. And this one here is the lateral boundary. So anteriorly, the compartment is bounded by the deep fascia of leg. The surface of the tibia forms the medial boundary and that is the lateral surface of the tibia. The posterior boundary is formed by the interosseous membrane. The lateral boundary is formed by the septum called as anterior intermuscular septum. And this small surface of the fibula between the anterior border and the interosseous border, the small surface that is the medial surface of fibula. So there you have the four boundaries of the anterior compartment of leg. If this video was useful for you, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. I am Dr. Naveen signing off.